All right, I got the motor in there finally. Um, it's only took a week from beginning to end on projects. Um, like I said, I'm gonna just tell you some of the trouble that I had. Now, I, I took a, this is a B2000, and I put a 2200 in it, and I figured why not while we're making the power. Some of the things that's not gonna match up for you are your transmission uh, brackets that just go from block to transmission to lower. These are the ones, well, this is one of them. This is one off the uh, 2200 that I thought I'd be able to use. And this is the plate that goes at the bottom of the flywheel. There's, there's two of these, but I got the motor in there, everything else bolted up, and none of these would match up to the uh, 2000 transmission. Maybe it's the year model I use, I don't know. But luckily, all that can come off without the motor coming out. So you're not hurt that bad. But just luckily, I had a spare motor. I had everything I needed, just started swapping out. I was good. Um, Take a look, there is no vacuum lines. I am only running one vacuum line straight to the vacuum advance. Uh, but uh, a guy, a real smart guy next door to me showed me that this is only vacuum when you give it throttle because it's above the plate for whatever reason. But since this is below the plate, it has more, it has constant vacuum. So what it gave me was a lot faster throttle response and it just, it took when it, the second barrel opened up, it just seemed like it took it. So I mean, instantaneous, Hadley take his word for it. Uh, the choke was a little confusing because what was here, come to find out, all you need is a 12 volt. You got to check it. It has to be 12 volts. I just picked one of these out the wiring harness, but uh, it's 12 volt and it's ignition only. So when you turn the ignition on, you get 12 volts. Some of these don't put out 12, so that's my warning to you. Works great. Um, does take a while though. All right, on your linkage, this is my original throttle linkage. There was a rubber piece in there not in there, but it was factory whatever. I had to pull it down here, pull the rubber, cut it off, and it was a little sleeve. I had to be real careful and cut the sleeve off because it does not fit over the end, does not fit over that little end of the cable. Well, you get that together. Then you gotta take this bracket they give you that holds the throttle cable, and you gotta like push it back two or three inches or else you are not gonna have enough adjustment. In other words, just bend it out of the way. I used a pair of channel locks. Um, and then right here for your uh, little tip of your cable, you're gonna wanna crimp that together just a little bit. I apologize, it's out of focus. But crimp it together a little bit so it fits. Um, that was all the real problems I had out of that. Um, let's see, moving around, everything's good. Thing cranks up, runs phenomenally. There's the header. If you're gonna run a pace setter header, uh, that little adapter piece, it actually fits where it's supposed to, but the angle's wrong, in other words. but I said forget it and just put two bolts in it and crunk it tight with an impact and it, it pulled together. Um, like I said, everything's in there. I mean, it's a simple swap. 2200 is a simple swap. On this vacuum stuff over here, it's all gone. Cut everything. I cut all the wiring harness back, unplugged. There's nothing there. This truck fires right up. Uh, in fact, I'll show you. Forgive the dash we took apart. All right, look at that, barely touched the key, fires right up, I mean, it's idling a little bit high right now because the choke's going to be on, but man, I'm telling you, a half a dozen people come over and they're like, man, this motor runs incredibly smooth. Uh, all I did was bore, you know, not bore, but port right there, shave the head 12 thousandths, bore it 40 over, stock cam, a little bit of a header, and uh, when I took it for a test drive, it likes to spin low RPM, just charter. You know, I'm not trying to win races, but hey, there's that pulling power I was looking for. Um, here we go. I mean, and it even idles lower than that much quite. I am very, very pleased. Uh, extremely simple. The model I picked, I mean, all I got is one belt, alternator. No power steering, no AC. I mean, this. It's a little parts runner with a little fun. But uh, like I said, any questions you guys can email me. I'll walk you through it. And uh, if there's anything I can do, let me know.